Hello everyone, welcome back to CY Group channel. Today's video is about manage fiscal year in auto count accounting. Without further ado, let's begin. Manage fiscal year gives you the flexibility of accessing to preceding or subsequent fiscal years. Go to tools, then manage fiscal year to access the menu of manage fiscal year. Manage fiscal year window will appear. Beside fiscal year, you can access the related functions. Select the top fiscal year and click new previous fiscal year to add a new previous year. Create new previous fiscal year window will appear, system will auto generate the start date and fiscal year name. You can edit the start date, but end date is not allowed to edit. OK to confirm action. Cancel to close this window. Click OK to proceed. The new previous year will appear in the top of listing. Follow by new next fiscal year. Select the bottom fiscal year and click new next fiscal year to add a new next fiscal year. Create new next fiscal year window will appear. System will auto generate the end date and fiscal year name. Click OK to proceed. Previous fiscal year allows you to view report related to previous years. Next fiscal year allows you to proceed transactions without doing year-end closing. The fiscal year with checkbox of current year is ticked, means the fiscal year is the initial year to create the account book. The checkbox of current year will remain ticked on the fiscal year, it won't change to other fiscal year. Next, delete fiscal year. This action allows you to remove a selected fiscal year. Select the fiscal year and click delete fiscal year. A prompt to confirm delete action will appear, click yes to proceed. The fiscal year is removed. Now proceed to edit fiscal year, select the fiscal year and click edit fiscal year. Edit fiscal year window is appeared, you can change the start date, end date and fiscal year name. After the changes you have made, click OK to proceed. The changes is applied to the selected fiscal year. Now, you are able to change the actual data start date within the fiscal year period. Edit the date of actual data start date, then click change to apply the changes. A prompt of the actual data start date is changed will appear, click OK to proceed. When the actual data start date is not within the fiscal year period, this prompt will appear. Actual data start date is not same with fiscal year start date. Actual data start date is the first date that the system uses for transaction. Fiscal year start date is the initial date of the fiscal year, must be on first day of the selected month. Let's continue to lock opening balance. Tick the checkbox of lock opening balance will prevent the opening balance from further amendment and the options under lock opening balance will be disabled. Tick the checkbox of can direct edit debtor or creditor opening balance to allow direct key in the opening balance for debtor or creditor. This option is used on non-open item debtor or creditor. We are not recommended to use this option because it can lead to aging and account balance not tally. Next is reset debtor or creditor opening balance to zero. Click this option to reset the value of opening balance of debtors or creditors to zero. After you click the button, confirmation prompt for reset debtor or creditor opening balance to zero will appear, click yes to proceed. A confirmation prompt with warning will appear, click yes to confirm action. Proceed to update debtor or creditor opening balance from past AR and AP transactions. Use this option when the opening balance is not updated after keyed in past AR or AP documents. A confirmation prompt will appear, click yes to update the debtor or creditor opening balance from past AR and AP transactions. Lastly, update last month year-to-date balance from AR and AP transactions. Use this option when the actual data start date is later than current fiscal year start date. A confirmation prompt for update last month year-to-date balance from AR and AP transactions will appear, click yes to proceed. That's all for Manage Fiscal Year video. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.